Hello! Today we are going to give you a basic overview of the free facial capture software Animaze, as well as show you how to connect your Perception Neuron Suit for full body capture. Let's take a look. You can download Animaze from Steam. When you first open the program, you will see an avatar in the center, your webcam, and side menus. The avatar should already be recognizing your face and tracking your movements. If it does not recognize your camera, click the drop-down menu at the top of the box and choose the correct device. First, to calibrate, click on the Calibrate button underneath the webcam. Simply look straight at your webcam with a neutral facial expression and then click the Calibrate button. The program will take a moment to capture this expression, then you should be all good to go. You can also use the hotkey Control c for a quick calibration. Let's explore the side menu. The first thing you can do is choose an avatar. Animaze gives you a wide range of free models that you can then customize. You can also purchase more from the Animaze shop. Or create your own persona. You can also import your own model. Animaze supports .avatar, .vrm, .glb, .gltf, and .model3.json files. Next, Animaze offers many unique backgrounds with lighting that you can adjust. You can also purchase new ones or import your own. Animaze has a tab dedicated to props and accessories. When you pick a prop, you can then change its color and scale to fit your avatar correctly. Once again, you can shop for items or you can import your own. If you do, they will need to be a .avatar file. The next tab is for voice. Here you can record your own voice and apply a filter to it. Animes. 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 To ensure you are using the correct microphone, click the settings icon, go to the audio section, and here you will see all of the options you need to set up your audio. The next tab is for emotes. These animations can be dragged to the slots provided and activated using the correlating hotkey. The next tab is for animations. Here you have a few choices for movements your avatar can do. There is also a sub-tab for poses. Each of these animations and poses have dedicated hotkeys. The next tab is for quick scenes. Here, you can create entire scenes with a character, background, and even voice effect that you can switch between with a single key combination. And finally, if you are a streamer, you can use the Stream Actions tab to create a reaction that will be triggered by events on your stream. For example, when you get a subscription, you can have your avatar do an animation, emote, or even trigger an entire quick scene. Let's look at a few things in the Settings tab. The Video Graphics menu allows you to choose your webcam and adjust the settings for it. And if you ever accidentally close the webcam window, this is also where you can bring it back. We covered the audio menu where you can choose your microphone as well as your speakers or headphones. Animes offers many different languages in the language menu. In the controls menu, you will see all the button combinations for moving your avatar on screen, camera controls, and hotkeys. Every single one of these controls can be changed and customized. And finally, we are going to look at the Advanced Tracking Configuration menu. Here, you can get very detailed on how your avatar moves. Under Tracker Inputs, you can customize the range and intensity of every feature on the face. You can also do audio-based lip-syncing, which will have the mouth follow your voice. 
and under the Select Trackers menu is where you can set up your body capture features. To connect your Perception Neuron suit, first, after putting on and calibrating your suit, in Access Studio, go to Settings and turn on BVH Capture. In Animes, turn on the Access Perception Neuron feature. Use the TCP slash IP connection Input the correlating IP address that is in Access Studio, along with the BVH port. And in Access Studio, make sure that your rotation is set to Y, X, Z, and displacement is on. Now you should be seeing your movement on the avatar in Animes. If at any point your avatar is facing the wrong direction, whether it be when you turn on your body capture or use chase camera, one thing you can do is go into Access Studio, under Solver Parameter, adjust the yaw until the avatar is facing the right direction. Now you are ready to face and body capture any avatar you want. So enjoy Animes and all it has to offer.